Hey guys, I want to give you an example of how to deploy Jumpstart Pro to Heroku. So first things first, you're going to need to set up your Jumpstart application. Of course, you've probably already done this, but one of the things you need to go through and do is set up your Jumpstart configuration. So that's the first thing you need to do to create your app. Then you need to go to your Rails application and the folder for your Git repo. So you'll clone Jumpstart Pro, create a new Git repo, and then push this up to your GitHub repository and keep track of it there. And then you can run Rails credentials colon edit environment equals staging or production. In this case, I'm gonna deploy a production copy here and you'll run this and you'll fill out all of your credentials that you need to run your application. So for example, if we were doing OmniAuth with Twitter or we were doing Stripe payments or something like that, we'd fill out our keys here and save this file. Now this is gonna spit out our credentials key and this key is going to be the one we need to add to our Rails environment variables in production. So what we'll do is we'll go to our Heroku application. I've created a brand new app in Heroku and we're gonna go to settings, config variables, and we'll add rails master key and set it to that value. And then we can go to our git repo and we can run git status and you'll see that this production.yaml.encrypted file and jumpstart.yaml files are added here. So we can go and add all of those to our Git repo. We'll commit those, add credentials, and jumpstart config, and we'll push those up to our Git repository. I have mine set up on GitHub, and we can go back to Heroku, and we'll go to the deploy tab here, and we'll grab the command for Heroku. Now I already have Heroku CLI installed, and we can run Heroku-V to make sure you have that, and Heroku login to make sure that you were logged in in the CLI. Then from there, you can run the Heroku git remote-a in your app name command. This will add a git remote called Heroku to your git repo, and then you can simply git push Heroku master. That will push up all of the code from your local machine to the Git repo on your Heroku dynos. This is gonna install all of your dependencies and run your yarn install and all of that to get your uh, JavaScript and everything set up. And once our deployment has finished, we can run Heroku run Rails DB colon migrate to migrate our database. Now Heroku was smart enough to automatically set us up a Heroku Postgres instance. And we also would like to add a Heroku Redis instance as well to run our Sidekick database. If we have enabled that, you can go ahead and add your Redis dependency like so, or use one of the other Redis providers. So if you're using Redis for caching or background jobs, you'll need that. Otherwise, you'll just need the Postgres install that Heroku will give you automatically. You can also add that yourself if you want to choose a different size. This is gonna give you a free version out of the box. And there you have it. Our application is now running on herokuapp.com. We can add our domains and add SSL and everything will be up and running as you would expect it. So that's all there is to it to deploy Jumpstart Pro to production for Heroku.